Hey guys, I'm out here doing an oil change and a turn signal bulb on a Cadillac. Oil change is already done. I got the oil draining, 8 quarts. Got the filter off. I got to go pick up the filter from the parts store. Um, but to get this headlight assembly out, that one, I'm just going to go right through there, pop the last bolt out, drop the bumper down a little bit and we'll be able to get that headlight out. So, let me get started on that and I'll show you how it goes. Alright, tools you're going to need you need well, I use wire cutters to pull the push pins out it's easier for me to use those but there's push pin pliers that'll let you get these push pins out Another thing you're going to need is a quarter inch ratchet with an 8 mil or 10 mil sockets on it, preferably deep well, because there's a long stud that you got to get this nut off the back of the headlight on. Okay, now I got all the pop push pins out all the way down just to get this inner fender cover out. What you gotta do is you gotta pull that back. Where's my light? Once you pull all that back, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bolt right there. Gotta get that bolt out to drop this front bumper down a little bit. And the nut on the stud that I was telling you about. It's already been removed, but... Okay, now I got everything out. It's unbolted. Bumper drops down. Out of the way a little bit like I need it. And now I just gotta pretty much fight and hopefully it comes out. Let's see what we got. Okay, like I said, all I'm doing is changing the light bulb for a turn signal. I'm not replacing the whole thing. It takes a little bit of prying and pulling. Screwdrivers or pry bars inside of a soft microfiber towel. Um, but I have enough room to where I can get a turn signal bulb out. It's right there, right on top. Right there. It's right where I gotta get to you. This little white clip right there. Once I get that out, the bulb comes right up. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand and hopefully it's not stuck. It came out really easy. There's the bulb. Just kind of pull on it. All right, lights working. There it goes, flashing off and on. Before it wasn't doing that. Good thing was, it was the bulb, not the pigtail. So. Okay, back from a quick parts run. Um, had to pick up a new cabin filter. It goes inside the wiper cowling. I'll show you where it goes in a minute. But, the old one, 
kind of nasty and gross and got wet at some point and here's the new one okay this cabin filter goes right in that hole okay I was just putting in the little plastic clips that are right here to hold this plastic cover down all it is is a cover it doesn't do anything um, it also protects a few things so I guess it does do something grabbing all the tools out of the way and now I'm going to put this oil filter on right there this thing takes seven quarts of oil okay oil filter is on drain plug is on the oil pan now I just got to fill it up with all seven quarts and we're done Alright, all seven quarts are in, and now just got to start it up and make sure it's full and off it goes. Okay, I ran it for a little bit, let the oil fill up, get where, wherever it's got to go. Now I'm going to check the oil level on it make sure it's full. If not, I got another quart of oil that I can add half a quart or whatever I'm low. First pull it out, wipe the dipstick all the way off. Pull it back out, recheck. I'm a quart low, so I got now I gotta add that other quart that I have. Once that oil is right in the hash marks, it's full. Pull everything back out. Good to go now.